What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Portal Night. So I found our next portal, this took forever. Like no joke, it took me like 40 minutes of running around the map trying to find this thing. So our next portal is kind of like over here I guess. Like you can see it right there, it's actually in the bottom of the world. And I found it by jumping off the map a couple times and killing myself and finally I saw that little opening down there. And I was like, yep, that looks like a portal. My advice to you, if you're having trouble finding the portals, is to turn off the music and just jump off the world a bunch of times. They tend to spawn along the edges of the world. And so if you turn off the music, you should be able to hear, and by the way, the music is still off. Anyways, you should be able to hear the whirring sound of the portal as you're digging around. Still, it's a pain in the ass, and I wish it wouldn't do that. I'd kind of like that the portals be sort of straightforward and not necessarily easy to find, but be in like logical places. Because as of right now, oof. let's get rid of that gazer real fast. I don't think there's it. Yeah, this is an inaccessible location. Like this location, you can't get here except by like diving down the side of the map and then noticing the tiny little crack. At the bare minimum, I would hope that, like, this wall would be missing so that you could see it down here. But I found it. It's all good. Welcome on back to Portal Knights. We got stuff to do today. We're working our way towards the dragon. Hopefully we don't run into any more issues like that. That's been a major stopgap for me in this series, is actually fiddling around and trying to find portals and also farming the Platinum Hills. Is there going to be platinum there? Because I could love to get myself some platinum. We'd be shined out. We'd be looking good. When our character goes to the Chibi Club, you would be like, hey, look at me, and everybody's like, oh, hey, look at him, he's got tons of platinum. That's weird. I don't think I've ever teleported into a dungeon before. This is a strange moment for me. Alright, well, let's see what's going on here. We got some Skelzies. Oh, nope. And then we got a Bomb Gazer right there. I'm gonna get rid of him first, because he is the principal concern. Let me keep swiping away at this dude. I don't think he's going to hurt me that badly now that we got the new armor. And let's get ourselves out of this hole. On this map, let's take a look and see... There's going to be two exits because we didn't come from that way. I couldn't find that one. I ran around the jungle forever and I couldn't find that one. And so finally, after about 20 minutes, I got frustrated. Came back to this one and worked on it for like an hour trying to find that portal. I was like, oh my god. Definitely think the portals should not spawn into like the bottom of the world or anything like that. But I assume, once again, work in progress. Random generator probably needs a little bit more work. Well, it looks like this is an undead map. A very undead map. I think I'd be okay with being undead, though, if I kept my sentience. If it was kind of like a lich-like situation. Like, I could deal with the rot and the decay and the gross skeletal nature if it meant that I had super awesome lich powers. Like, wouldn't you trade that? Being a lich would be the shit, right? Somebody's sex toy sticking out of the snow. He's like, I'm going to keep this right here. And I'll come back for it later. And then he got mauled by the ender dead and he never came back. Uh, so now it's just sitting there. A testament to his sexual hubris. Let's go ahead and murder some soldiers here. God, that came out wrong. It's okay, though. We'll just assume that these guys are like with the Taliban or something. There we go. Perfect. I will look inside this tower for hours for powers and flowers and everything else that doesn't make me glower. And there's like a little hut over there. I don't mean like Ebu Wabu Wagi Chewbacca like type hut. Not that kind of hut, but like a house. We should probably go investigate. It might be a wise idea. I don't think this is going to be an iron-bearing map. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on here. From a high point, we might be able to see the portal, though. And so I'll give that a try. Let me chop down some of these trees, though. I can't see where the ass because they're all in the way with their nasty little dendritic creepers. Perfect. There we go. So from the top of the hill, I don't see anything that looks much like a portal from here. But it's possible that it might be in an underground dungeon that's linked... We spawned in through a dungeon. It seems like that's going to be a main motif for this area. This is the last zone that we're going to be in before we get to the dragon, so anything could happen. They might actually have this area as kind of like a stopgap to challenge us before we get there. There's no telling, really. They might not want us to kill the dragon so easily to slay it in its own lair without hesitation. Mm, you took a swing at me, huh? 
See what I mean? You can use it kind of like a ranged weapon, but with your melee damage. It's weird. A little bit of an exploit, I guess, but hey. They don't want me to point it out. Doesn't look like there's much in here that I want. I don't think we can open that like a treasure chest or anything. The armoire. That knockback sure is nice though, ain't it? That knockback is absolutely fantastical. Make sure I don't have to deal with enemies being all up in my grill rocking like bamboo. Oh yeah, look at there. Got ourselves a green portal. But do I have green shards is the question. I don't think that I do. So the next question becomes how do we get the green shards? By killing these big guys up in here? I don't think there's any other zones for us to go to. And so unfortunately that's got me in a little bit of a... Oh yeah, these guys dropped him over here. So there it is. He also dropped some iron ore. Not necessarily like an amount worth farming. But if these guys drop the blocks we need, it looks like we're... No, those guys dropped the yellows right there. So maybe it's just the big guys? Hmm. Interesting. That leaves us in a bit of a predicament, doesn't it? Not like a large-scale predicament, but still. Oh, Bomb Gazer tried to get me. Every time. I think it has to do with levels. So if they're like level 15 or higher, they drop the greens and so on and so forth. This place looks like it might have been a blacksmith's hut of some kind. That's a little bit worrisome. How do I get green shards then? The only place that I've gotten green shards from... is from digging up the obsidian on that other level. And even that didn't give me very much. It just gave me like a little bit. I am not totally sure. We might be able to get it out of these sapphires, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. I think it just dropped a green shard in there. Yeah. So it looks like I'm about to farm these for a little while, too. The transition zone, man. The transition zone in this game really needs work. Every time you move from one color to the next, it's like there's a big gap in the drops. Like, everything, in my opinion, on this map should drop green shards and the previous map to get you ready for it. And yet, that's not what we have going on. And so, unfortunately, I'm left here just kind of like chiseling away at the rock wall, hoping I get enough to go to the next zone and work on other things. Definitely some balance issues that need to be worked on. I don't know if you can get them from plants. Doesn't look like you can, but I only tried with one plant, so who even knows? Got some silk right there. I don't see any bigger enemies around. Everything else is dropping yellow shards anyways. Yeah, that's kind of an issue for me. I see no reason why these big guys right here, I gotta kill like dozens of these big dudes in order to get the one thing out that I need. And they might not even drop them every single time. That's the second magical little fact you gotta worry about. Wonder if those guys, I know these guys right here don't drop shit, so. Maybe it's only from the elites we can farm those, in which case that's actually a little bit troublesome. Okay, a lot of bit troublesome. It's a pain in the ass in the most special of ways. I'm trying to be nice about it, though. What about you, Saurian Mage? Do you drop anything? He drops yellows. So, yeah, it looks like the big guys are the only ones that we can kill that actually drop the thing that we need. And they increase the amount of shards you need every single time you hit a new tier, which I disagree with as well. It should just be flat three every single time. Farming these things is not fun. It's not a part of their game that I think they should accentuate by forcing it. And this is pretty much... There's another portal going that way. I mean, so it's a possibility that... I don't know. We would have to get to a higher level place. If 
Did I not go to Silver Drift? Or does it just not have any resources? That's weird. We'll come back in just a second. We're going to do some exploration and see if maybe there are other places that I can get the things I need from. Huh, I must have just not come here, I guess. I mean, there's another one of the guys we need right there, so we might as well finish him off now. Oh, he dropped a yellow, so I don't know. I have really no clue for you, Nerd Castle. No clue for you. Things appear to be very, very confused in this game. I mean, even if it was, like, randomly dropping the greens amongst the yellows, I think we'd be in okay shape. But for right now... See, so why does a level 14 on that other map drop a green, but all of these level 14s drop yellows? It all just seems very disorganized to me. Like, somebody needs to sit down and be like, from level 12 up, half the mobs will drop yellows, half the mobs will drop greens, so that you have a good stockpile of everything you need in order to advance in the game without having to... Because this farming job right here is going to take forever. That means I've got to kill upwards of... 35 or 40 of those big guys. Basically, I've got to grind, which is... An, oh, it takes four, so I thought it took five. Okay. It's not as bad. That cuts it down a little bit, but... It's still a pretty good fixture of work that we got to get done. I don't know if there's anything down in this dungeon, but we'll give it a look. My hope was that I, I was going to zone in here, and then these guys would be dropping greens, and I could just farm them out real fast and make a cut. But it doesn't look like it's going to work like that, so we just got to keep treading on ahead, unfortunately. Worst case scenario is I'll double back, and I'll go back to where we took the right path instead of the left one. And I'll see if I branch down that way, if there's like a level 15 zone in there somewhere where I might be able to pull a couple of green shards out. And if that ends up working pretty well, we'll come back in the next episode. Maybe I'll take a break for the weekend. Not from videos. I got more than enough videos to get me through the weekend. But over the weekend, I'll do the farming so that it's not like in the way of video production or whatever else. Another soldier down. Gonna grab his bone. That's why they're so aggressive at running towards me. They heard they could get their bone grabbed if they come and fight with me. I hit level 15 yet? Wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, I did. So we hit level 15. That's going to give us soothing wounds now, which restores health whenever we kill an enemy. So that'll be pretty helpful for those Zerg mobby rooms where there's a lot of shit going on. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like that gives us actually a pretty solid grip of health back every time we kill one of them. I think there might be something useful down in here. I'm not totally convinced. Oh, you can do it the other way, too. You can make them swing with the bow. Interesting. Okay, so if you have the melee weapon out, you can actually pull out the ranged weapon, too, and he'll swing the ranged weapon the same way that he pulls the, uh, the melee weapon like a bow, basically. And it looks like it was all for a treasure chest down here. That's all right. I think what we might have to do is we might have to double back and clear out all the previous zones and get to the point where I think there's probably like a level 15 zone along the other path, maybe. So if we take a look here. If we go back to here and then we loop back this way. It's possible... Well, I just don't know, everybody. I, I may end up just farming it out. It's hard to say. It's real hard to say. My hope was that it wouldn't come down to that because I'm not a big, I'm not a big, you know, Korean RPG grindy guy. That's not my thing. Still. If it goes down like that, I'll probably end up doing it off camera. But for right now, let's get started, I suppose. We got a couple minutes left in the episode. And so I'm going to fix that real quick. Oh, look at that. Those ones actually regenerate faster, too. How loverly. 
I appreciate that, Basalt Stone. Yep. Rub your lovely body all over my weaponry and make it more effective. I beg you, please. Alright, that's good enough. Ow. Doesn't really... Either that or that if you had an option to take, like, a lower tier block... Like, let's say take four of these and turn them into, a, like, maybe, or take one of these and turn them into one green shard. That'd be a great conversion system, too, to keep people from having to grind. That would be the other idea I'd have. So once you get to the end of a tier, you don't really need the yellow ones anymore. So convert, like, one yellow one into a fragment of a green one, you know what I mean? And then that would get me pretty close to being ready for my first green portal. Without having to spend too much time banging my head against the wall. So let's avoid all the other kills, then. The only thing we need here... Is this big bastard. Okay, I guess we're going to pull him too. And he's going to shoot his little Nimbus thing at us. But it's not going to matter for him. Okay, it is going to matter. Get that knock back in there. And down he goes. There's another green shard. If there was a bunch of those guys, I also wouldn't be worried about it. But there's not really that many of them. Makes this whole thing a little bit more complicated. It's fine though. Let me just talk about whatever. This week has been weird for me. Every week is weird for me. As I get further into life, I start to realize the weeks, I think, just get weird. Oh, balls. We had to get run up on and beat down. And I don't want to get run up on and beat down. I would prefer not to indulge in that sort of activity if I could help it. Getting beat down, just... Mm. If you ever caught a beat down, it's not really that fun. It's not really that fun. There are things in life that are super fun. For example, jet skiing. Amazingly fun. Jet skiing is an activity that I would recommend to everybody. There's nothing better than doing like 60 miles an hour and almost coming up off the water on a jet ski. It's, it's fun to fly. It's universally fun. Hanging out with a scruffy dog. Also pretty universally fun. However, while we're on the subject, catching a beat down... Did you just... I'm just gonna murder you right here. I'm just gonna murderize you. And that's all that I have. Let's go find another big guy, I guess. I'm gonna run around in circles doing this for a while, so. All right, guys and gals, so I took the time to farm out the remaining shards. Didn't take too long. The quickest way that I would recommend doing it, now that I've done it, is just to kill, there's gonna be four skeletons in here that each drop a shard. Kill them, teleport to here, then teleport back. It'll reset the map. And you should be able to do it pretty rapidly. It shouldn't take you too much time. That was the most efficient way that I found to do it. And so we're off to face the dragon, I guess, which is good. Because that's what I was hoping we'd get to do at the end of this episode. Our portal is over here. So let's make our way on over. We'll slot everything in there. I'm, I'm kind of interested. In, we've never done a green portal before. So it's possible that this might be the first color that actually, like, invades you or something like that when you do it the first time. I don't know. Let's give it a try. They said at the beginning to watch out when you opened a portal, but... There's our first green portal. And it looks like we're going to the Dragon's Lair. Excited about this. I was hoping we would get it done today. I really, really, really wanted to kill the dragon today. I was excited about it. It was something that I had... ...in my head noodle. So I've never done this before, by the way. This might be a little bit gnarly. Okay, so that looks like it's it's raining fire right now. That's never a good thing. When have you ever looked outside your window and been like, Oh good, it's raining fire today. I think I'll go for a walk. Never. That has never happened. <laughs> Ooh! That was a pretty major dick move though. So it looks like more than likely what we gotta do is like that. Yeah, there we go. Get some, dragon. You don't want to mess around with me like that. Cling on to the edge. Don't roll your eyes. Don't talk back. And I'm sure there's going to be a second phase in here somewhere. Did I get him? All right. I didn't know that was going to come through. This is kind of like golfing mixed with raiding. So I don't know. If you're into golfing, this is probably the boss for you. There's definitely going to be another phase. Oh, shit. Okay, so we got little Meiji guys in here. Some little... Oh, he's firing all kinds of shit at me now. Okay. We're going to sort something out. We get healed every single time we do that. So, oh, I shot one straight out of his mouth. 
Wasn't expecting to do that. All right. That was a little bit more talented than I thought I was capable of, but sure. I'll go with it. I like the dragon. He's kind of lumpy looking. He's kind of adorable. Get rid of you. And it looks like, I think these hatch or something. I'm not totally sure. That might be where the little Saurian mage guys are coming from. Not completely sure. Come on, dragon, get some. I do wish they did a really good job with the boss fights. I just wish there was more of them. Ow. Okay, so let's never do that again. So either way, oh, wow, okay. So I didn't know that happened either. All right, cool. So it's like a little hand grenade that I got to hit back. Oh, I led him. That was what was up. Get led. What? I wasn't even planning on doing that. It just kind of happened. That was far more talented than I expected it to be. Like, no joke. That was not supposed to go down like that. We can get rid of all this extra stuff. I don't need it. We got some silk cloth right there. Got some bones. We got a ton of weed in our inventory, so that's pretty sweet, just in case. Iron plate blocks. They've actually upgraded us. We're not getting the uh, brass ones or the copper ones anymore. Let's see what our next zone is before we go ahead and log on out for the day. That was a pretty fun little boss fight. I think he needs a little bit more HP. He was a little bit easy, but still, a fun boss fight. Kind of a cool little concept. You're his bomb gazer. This is our first volcanic zone. Everything looks like it's in a stage of... What did that do for me? Oh, it gave me obsidian, so that's pretty cool. And some flammable liquid. That's sweet. I like flammable liquid. Looks like we got some more big-ass turtles over here. So am I supposed to break these? Are these like nodes, basically? Like you just bust them open and you get basalt and then you get obsidian as well? Cool. Obsidian is what you get when it fast cools, by the way. So a lot of people think that it's what happens when the lava like cools so fast that it crystallizes. It doesn't have time to crystallize is actually what obsidian is. And so it, it actually freezes so quickly that it takes time to build little chemical crystals. That's what a crystal is. A crystal is a reflection of the chemical structure of a substance as it dries out or heats up or whatever triggers the crystallization. And so it becomes cryptocrystalline or microcrystalline, which is what glass is essentially when it crystallizes so fast that it doesn't have time to make realistically large sized crystals. Basalt has bigger grains in it because it's allowed to cool over a longer time. It just sits there for a while. And it has a chance to crystallize, whereas if you got obsidian, it's because it cooled really, 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 really fast, like the second it hit the air. Either way, we're out of time for the day. This is Portal Nights. I'm glad we decided to get past that impasse. The farming wasn't quite so bad as I thought it was going to be. So anyways, I will see you all later. Bye, everybody. I do.